Uh, Mr. Speaker, today the Rules Committee met and reported a rule, um, House Resolution 462, providing for consideration of H.R. 3401 under a closed rule. One hour of general debate has been provided, controlled by the Chair and Ranking Minority Member of the Committee on Appropriations. Mr. Speaker, I have fought for human rights my entire career. As co-chair of the Tom Lantos Human Rights Commission, I have seen troubling conditions abroad. But never in my wildest imagination did I ever think I'd see such inhumane conditions here at home, all because of the President's cruel and failed immigration policies. We have children today at border facilities forced to sleep on concrete floors, with the lights kept on 24 hours a day. They're not being given soap, diapers, or even a toothbrush. Lice combs are being shared. Bottles aren't able to be washed. And in some cases, children are being supervised by other kids not much older than themselves. This is happening in America today because of the choices made by President Trump. It is horrific. This is child abuse, plain and simple. In a document obtained by ABC News, one physician who visited recently described the conditions there by saying, and I quote, the conditions within which they are held could be compared to torture facilities, end quote. Torture facilities, Mr. Speaker. At the behest of this administration, this should sicken every single American. This administration seems to relish this and use the lives of these children as political theater. The President even, even had the audacity to claim, and I quote, we're doing a fantastic job under the circumstances, end quote. Are you kidding me? Lives are being torn apart. There are some children who we know will never be reunited with their family, who are being locked in cages and forced to endure inhumane and unspeakable conditions. There is a special place in hell for those uh, who are ripping children from the arms of their mothers, putting them in cages without even a blanket, arguing that they shouldn't even get basic necessities like a toothbrush. If your heart doesn't break, if you don't want to do everything you can to end this, then you should really take a hard look in the mirror. This majority doesn't agree with the President's policies, but we will not turn a blind eye to this humanitarian catastrophe. So this bill delivers billions to provide necessities like food, water, and blankets, and it will also fund things like legal assistance and support services for unaccompanied children and refugees. There's also strict limits here on influx shelters. It protects sponsors from DHS immigration enforcement based on information collected by HHS during the vetting process. And it creates strong oversight by Congress, including to protect unaccompanied children. This legislation also reverses the administration's senseless decision to block the humanitarian funding that Congress has already appropriated for the Northern Triangle countries. At the same time, we do not provide a single penny for the President's failed mass detention policy. There are humane alternatives here instead because we are not going to help this President continue this cruelty. Now, Mr. Speaker, this is not a perfect measure, but this isn't a big immigration bill. This is an appropriations bill. And I want to recognize the extraordinary leadership of Chairwoman Lowy, Chairwoman DeLauro, and Chairwoman Roybal Allard. They have been dedicated to getting this done. And the updated language submitted today will enhance protections for the rights and for the dignity of migrants even further. You know, it wasn't too long ago that President Reagan said America was best represented as the shining city on the hill. It should sicken all of us that this administration apparently believes this country is instead best represented by separated children uh, living in filth in a cage down by the border. So I urge all of my colleagues to vote for this rule and the underlying legislation so we can honor our values and show the real humanity of the American people. And I reserve the balance of my time.